one of the most commonly asked questions of collectors is which one is your favorite plant? As you know, I'm an Echeveria collector and if you've been following my video blog, Let's Plant, it will definitely show. Majority of the plants in my collection are Echeverias. And to answer the question of which one is my favorite, like any other collector, I would say all of them. <laughs> But if I had to choose, I think I would cheat a bit and put them in categories. Let's say my favorite filler, my favorite frilly, my favorite caranculated type, my favorite giant, my favorite edging, favorite X, Y, and Z, and so on. But in my spare time, I get to think about it sometimes. And I think I figured out what my favorite one is. It might surprise you. An answer that I would usually say is that my favorite varies from time to time so if you ask me today it might be different from my answer a few days from now it sounds fair enough because our tastes change but in truth there's one plant that has always been at the top or near the top of my favorites so it has been consistently up there all right enough the suspense my favorite plant in my collection is The Aeonium Short Black. Surprised, huh? You were probably expecting an Echeveria. Well, unfortunately, the biggest one here has some insect damage, but I don't mind. This only happens in summer. Once they grow back in autumn and winter, the pests would go away. The Aeonium Short Black is a mutation of the Zwartkop. Unlike the regular Zwartkop, the Aeonium Short Black, as the name implies, is a low-lying variety. It has denser rosettes. As you'll see, there are more leaves per head and they form very tight clumps. But they also make nice solitary specimens. Back at the plant show, I saw a large specimen which they, I think they have pruned and cleaned up and bonsai I guess. Unlike the clump that I have, the one in the show had few branches. I think they removed most of them and they were kept in a pristine condition. So the rosettes, each of the rosettes looked really nice. And here are my Zwartkops. Since it's summer in Australia right now, they are shut tight since they are dormant. I first noticed them when I saw a large clump growing at my wife's workplace. So there were several clusters in the front entrance. I get to see them every time I drove my wife to work or picked her up and I couldn't get them out of my head. I even once tried leaving a message to their Facebook page but I've only been scene zoned. I never got a response to date. So I eventually just ended up buying one stock from my local Bunnings and from that one piece I now have a clump growing in my backyard. I can't wait for autumn to come because by then I would be able to chop off all of the offsets and with them I could seed new clusters. So for now I just have small clumps but around this time next year you'll see I'll have a lovely clump of short blacks here. So now that we've got that out of the way and if you wanted to ask me what's my favorite Echeveria, that's a topic for another video.